to the West. All right. And so, China probably thinks of the West as negative, but I promise I'm not China. But then, another <laughs> factor. Your jokes almost kill me today. Which island you go to? <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Hesha and I am Barry from Columbia University and today we will be looking at physics lecture number 9, Scalars versus Vectors. Alright, so today I am doing the intro in front of the historic Pippin Hall at Columbia University because that was where the nuclear bomb was first conceptualized by Fermi and Leo Ziller using Einstein's beautiful equation E equals mc squared. All right, we'll cover that lesson uh, much later on physics. But today, let's get started with scalars and vectors. All right, so what's a scalar? One-dimensional information. It has a magnitude. It has size, value. Scalars, they do not have direction. So what are some examples of size? Value. Well, let's say I am traveling two meters from my home. Thousand watts running into that light bulb up there. So these are all examples of scalars. By the way, you want to hear a joke? Hmm. Why can't a mosquito be a mountain climber? Because you can't mix scalars and vectors. Nobody got the joke? Okay, so now let's move on to a vector. Now, what would a vector look like? Well, let's say that that car was traveling at minus 20 meters per second. Or alternatively, you could say that it was traveling at 20 meters per second. To the west. All right. And so, China probably thinks of the West as negative, but I promise I'm not China. But then, we have um, another vector. And that vector would you be... You're not going to kill me today. <laughs> that you're a pirate, and uh, you want to find that booty. And so, uh, you sail, and suddenly you see eight islands all surrounding you. So, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. According to your map, one of these eight islands has the booty, but none of them. T uh, and the map doesn't tell you which one. But you know they are all about fifty kilometers away from you. So you travel to the first one, and you see nothing except some bilge rat pricks. And so you let the bilge rat pricks on your crew. And then, what do you do next? Well, you sail to another one, 50 kilometers away, and you still find nothing. It specified a magnitude, how far away the islands were, but it never specified which direction you should go in. Which island you go to? It was the Southwest Island! Nice! So now, you go to the Southwest Island, X marks the spot, and you find that booty. So now, because you looked at the map and it now specified both magnitude and it specified direction, that's how you were able to find the booty. But with magnitude alone, just a scalar, you weren't able to find that crap. So, um, tick tock. Uh, length, mass, time, temperature, And then a million of substance luminous intensity and current. I always forget current. I almost forgot it here as well. Uh, length length is kind of a mixed reaction because length can come in two forms, distance or displacement. 
distance as you can see had no arrow above it because it's just a skill it's just how how much you've traveled so for example just the length between one and two points so for example the distance between these is six meters even though you may have started here and finished here but let's say you have the same scenario but you want to find the displacement this placement is just how far you've gone from your original one, from your original point. So this would be minus six meters of this placement because you went six meters in the wrong direction. So it can be a scalar or it can be a vector. Don't mean the wrong direction, I just mean the negative direction. So this is just a mixed bag. So scalar, but this placement is a vector. All right, and so now let's look in mass. So mass, mass is only just a puny scalar. Why? Because when you're weighing yourself, there's not really a direction to which way you're weighing. So, you know, it's just a scalar. So now let's look at time. Time is also a scalar. You know why? Could technically argue it goes in one direction, but that doesn't count. Temperature is also a scalar. You know why? Basically, all of these are scalars. A may on a substance, just how many atoms there are somewhere. So also just a number. And then luminous intensity, just the brightness, also a number. And current, just how much electron flow through a certain surface all numbers so the uh, fundamental quantities are basically all scalars except of for left which is a mixed bag and then now you have derived quantities the derived quantities just all write them out so that would first be velocity then acceleration so what about velocity well we already said it was a vector because you can go one way or the other but there's also another form called speed, where just how fast you're traveling. It's actually just distance over time, not displacement over time. So uh, velocity is, uh, so it's kind of a mixed bag. That's why I'll, I'll put uh, blank. So the velocity is a vector, but speed is a scalar. Which color we will say to for the vectors? Green vector. We're also writing it in all caps, messily, but to congratulate ourselves. All right, force. That one can be exerted in all kinds of directions, even in 2D and 3D physics. So that means that, that one's a vector. Now let's dance because we got another vector. All right. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.